then that other than myself at that time to respond in silence. However, consider that I'm elected by the people of Kenya directly. 9th of August 2022, Kenyans woke up early to go and vote in their president and the British president. And out of the millions of Kenyans who turned up, 7.2 million Kenyans decided willingly that Dr. William Bruto should be elected as president and I think it's fair when members of parliament decide that they want to move the deputy president from office. President, here is side of the story. I think it's very fair. And I thought it's also respectful to the voters to have the first opportunity to hear from me before the other members because they are the ones who elected me to office. Article 1 of the Kenya Constitution says that the power and the sovereignty of this great nation rests with the people. In Parliament, that is the National Assembly and the Senate, enjoy the delegated authority of the people. It is therefore very important that the people who elected me as Deputy President get my response of the very outrageous accusations against their deputy president that have no basis, that is sheer propaganda, that is a scheme to hold me out of office because of other political considerations and has nothing to do with violation of the constitution, it has nothing to do with gross misconduct, and it has absolutely nothing to do with committing international or national crimes people of Kenya are therefore entitled by right to hear from their deputy president what is his response to those outrageous allegations. Again, an attempt to do a public, uh, public participation in a very short exercise that was done. My response was not part of what was presented to the people of Kenya. The people of Kenya were being asked to give their views as to whether the deputy president should be impeached from office and the accusations were attached, but in a highly legalistic language beyond the comprehension of many Kenyans. But the response of the deputy president was not there to enable them to make an informed decision by listening to the charges against him and listening to his response. Because the rules of natural justice demand that no man should be condemned and hurt. My lawyers will be vigorously be challenging that uh, public participation as a nullity and that does not meet the threshold of public participation as expounded by the Supreme Court of Kenya during the celebrated case of Governor Peter Obora. Uh, the motion alleges that two years since assuming office, regarding Gashagwa has acquired property and wealth whose estimate value is 5.2 billion, despite his known income by way of employment.